Radhika Singh and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my second tutorial on Rikshasana. I hope you all have checked out my first tutorial which was Sukhasana. So in Rikshasana today we are going to learn step by step guide on how to do it and the basic benefits of this posture and also the posture correction that is required in this. So without wasting much time let's start. So guys, let's start learning our second yogasana which is known as the Riksh asana. Riksh literally in English means a tree. So this is known as a tree pose. Now before we start learning this pose, I would like to explain you how to stand because many a times people don't know how to stand straight. So I'm going to show you from a side angle view so that you get a better idea as to how to start this pose. So if you see some of us stand like this and some of us stand like this. So both of these postures are wrong even for the daily life. We have to ensure that we are standing in a neutral position. Our shoulders are rolled back at all times. We look straight and our butt should not be out. It should be rolled in. So this is the posture that you have to maintain not only while learning any yogasana but also in your daily life. So let's start with the first step of Rikshasana. Okay, so we have to ensure that the first step should be your concentration should be fixed on a single point. It can be on a wall or any point that you can fix it so that you can balance in a better manner. So the first step is find a point and make sure your eyes are fixated on that point. The second step is after you have achieved the first point, you have to hold your leg by your ankle. So right hand will hold the right leg and we will have to, we will have to put our heels on the inner left thigh. Now for some people, you won't reach this stage. So you can start with putting your legs or uh, uh, maybe a little lower. So this is okay and this is definitely better for people who are that flexible to go here for the first time. So this is the second step. Now once we have achieved this, our first two steps will be one pointedness of mind and second step will be fixating the right leg on the left inner thigh. Now make sure your leg does not move inside or way to outside. Keep it very neutral and in alignment with your body. Okay. So now let's move on to our third step. Before we start our third step, make sure your breathing is stable. So you breathe in and breathe out. So once you breathe out, we have to take one inhalation and our hands will Join above our head in a namaste form. Now make sure you don't sit on your other leg. Keep it straight. Keep it straight and maintain the posture that I have shown you before we started learning this asana. Now your eyes should be fixated on a single point and hold this. After you have done this, exhale slowly hold your right ankle with your right hand and move your feet back to the neutral position that we had started from so i hope you have understood all these steps so let's do it once more so that you get a better idea of how to do it okay we'll do it on the left side and we'll hope that you can get through this okay so step one is Fix your mind on a single point which is very important. Step number two is hold your left ankle with your left hand and place your left heel on the right inner thigh. Make sure don't sit on the right leg. Keep it straight. Keep your butt clenched so that you don't pout it outside. So keep it neutral and engaged. Engagement should be on at all the times. It looks easy but it's not. Move on to the other step, to the next step and breathe in. Let's inhale and hold. 
you can hold it for 10 counts and you can do three sets of each and with time you can increase the duration and see how comfortable you are in this posture now breathe out exhale hold your left ankle with your left hand and slowly get your legs back to the neutral position roll your shoulders back and we are back to square one from where we had started so as we have learned this yogasana let's understand some of the benefits of this asana and why we need to practice it daily this posture strengthens legs opens hips improves the balance improves endurance helps with concentration and builds awareness So guys, I hope you have understood this yogasana and learned it the right way with me. So keep practicing it at home and if you want my feedback on your way of practicing, you can upload your videos on Instagram stories or posts and tag me so that I will get notified about the same and will be able to share my feedback. Also like, share and comment on this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to get notified about my upcoming videos and next video, uh, please press the bell icon so that you will get notified. Uh, till then, stay active, stay healthy by practicing yoga.